what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new update of the Eden Nintendo Switch emulator for Android which is officially the best Nintendo Switch emulator available for Android as well as PC if you guys know already then Eden emulator had launched officially on Google Play Store but unfortunately it has been taken down from Play Store I guess due to copyright reasons I guess Nintendo struck it with a DMCA and Eden emulator is now permanently gone from Play Store but don't worry Eden emulator is going nowhere and its development and testing phases are ramping up quite a lot so on the official github of eden ci which has eden pr builds which are experimental testing builds of eden nintendo switch emulator released very frequently as you guys can see there are about 1800 releases and the last release was about four hours ago these are the versions of eden emulator that are released before the public release of the main eden emulator versions like the 0.0.3 etc so you guys can read this guideline you will not receive any support for these builds because these are beta testing builds and the version of eden emulator that we'll be using is going to be the latest Eden CI build released 4 hours ago. Anyways, once you add the simulator on your mobile device, tap on get started, tap on next, tap on skip and here you'll need to import all the necessary stuff as usual that you have legally dumped, that you have dumped on your Android devices legally from your own Nintendo Switch. Once that has been done, simply tap on don't show again and there we go. Right here is the brand new version of Eden Nintendo Switch emulator. You guys can see it for yourself. There are some text changes here and there are some UI changes here and there but most importantly, it has major improvements in terms of performance for Snapdragon 8 Elite processors. So let's start setting it up right away. We'll go to settings afterwards here, go to advanced settings, go to system and apply the best settings which I'm about to show you guys. Limit speed percentage set it to 400. Can also add a web token as well as web username if you want to use online features of any Nintendo Switch game. But let's skip that. We'll go to graphics resolution scaling set it as 0.75x. Enable force maximum clocks use a synchronous shader. VSync mode set it to mailbox. Scroll down aspect ratio enable stretch to window once that has been done go to performance overlay here you can enable settings such as show fps show frame time and basically visual settings which will show you how well this emulator is working so here i'll just go ahead and enable these necessary stuff afterwards in device overlay you can either enable this option if you want to get your device statistics while emulating your games i would recommend disabling this option once that has been done we can scroll down and enter the edens well where there are some experimental settings so extended dynamic state make sure to keep it disabled if you face graphical issues in your game you can enable the release fences early option if you get zero fps issues in games such as the titles which have been mentioned right here make sure that enhanced frame pacing is enabled enable use fast gpu time gpu overclock factor make sure to set it to 128 low for maximal performance enable custom cpu ticks and set the ticks around 32,000. but you can also go all the way up to 40,000. Uh, this will improve performance sometimes but but may cause some games to freeze so if your games are freezing disable this option afterwards everything else you guys can copy from here once that has been done go back you have successfully applied the best settings now comes the GPU driver manager part. Here make sure to tap on the fetch option. Afterwards it will fetch graphics driver for your mobile device GPU. So if you have a Snapdragon processor Android device you can get the Mesa Turnip Adreno drivers. But as I have a Snapdragon 8 series GPU Snapdragon 8 Elite. It does not have Turnip graphics driver so you can use even the Game Hub Adreno 8 series graphics driver. For Turnip devices go with Kimchi Turnip graphics driver which is best suited for all devices which have Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or below processor. But for my GPU Android devices, Exynos or Snapdragon keep the settings as default. Once that has been done, you have applied the best settings for the Eden emulator. Let's go to applet launcher and see if our Q launch works or not. So here we go, our Q launch has successfully started and you will be able to see it is working properly inside the Eden emulator without any issues. So let's just go ahead and exit emulation and start testing out our first game which is going to be The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So there we go, in just a single click you can see our game is about to start, Nintendo presents the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and there we go our game is about to start. Now if you just go ahead and see any graphical issues uh, in my gameplay of the Eden emulator then it is because of the Snapdragon 8 Elite graphics driver. It's not the fault of the Eden emulator. Snapdragon 8 Elite does not have proper graphics driver support that's why uh, in any Nintendo Switch game that, which is demanding that you'll try to emulate it will have graphical issues. So here you guys can see at the top left corner I'm getting straight up 60 FPS while emulating The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on my Android device. I can also add a save file in this and 
uh, test out the gameplay in actual open world areas which are much more demanding where I can expect about 30 FPS to be honest. If you want to see that video, let's hit 200 likes on this video and I'll upload Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay test. Anyways, let's go out and try out our next game, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I'll add a save file for this game. Once the save data has been imported, it will say imported successfully. So let's tap on the game and for the controls, you'll need to swipe back, go to controls, enable player one connected and set the controller type as handheld. Once that has been done, you'll be able to go through the game. As you guys can see, Pokemon presence, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So let's find out how much FPS can we get in this game. Immediately at the top left corner, you guys can see I am getting about 120 FPS while playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu in the latest Eden Nintendo Switch Simulator. What I am most excited about is to see how much FPS can we get in the outside world area. So here I have exited the house. Most of the times in any other Nintendo Switch Simulator, we get around 30 to 40 FPS, especially in New Shoe, etc. I get about 35 FPS. But here in this Eden Emulator's latest version, you guys can see. Yeah, we are getting about 35 FPS. So it is similar to any other Yuzu emulator folk where Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu for some reason is not that optimized and that's why you can't get 60 FPS even though if you can get 60 FPS in Legends, RCS, Pokemon Sword or games like that. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to try out Eden Emulator on your own Android devices. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.